Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule of Waves as the United States episode number 20. We are at war with the Germans. Uh, that first battle we fought, just a destroyer standoff. Not, uh, I mean it was a victory, but it really, uh, we'll see tens of thousands of victory points if we get into a big fleet battle, so not really much to talk about, kind of inconsequential. So thank you for the reminder. Let me get all my kingfishers. And I'm getting several, I, I can feel the small amount of tension <laughs> of people who are really anxious for me to get going on a new design. And uh, there's a, I think, maybe a reasonable, exactly. You could probably make a reasonable claim that the 15 inch quality one guns are still better than the 16 inch quality zero guns. They're very similar, right? We saw that they're very similar. 25.9, uh, 23.1, 25.2, 20, 2.7, so 25.9, 23.1 if I remember. 16 inch guns currently have slightly worse penetration, it's about the same max. I mean, they're almost identical, so the one thing that you have to really take into account is the fact that you save a substantial amount of weight. This this is a thousand, but I think the test we saw on the other ship was we were saving up to uh, like fifteen hundred or sixteen hundred. So I don't know. Uh, on Blin Blinson, or better known as Battle, I want to say Battle Group Gamer. I don't think that's exactly correct, but I can't remember the name right now of his channel. <laughs> um, anyway. He was telling me that uh, the refits for the rate of fire on turrets, like quad and triple rate of fire, applies instantly, or could. I, I, I'm not sure what certainty he had. It was um, some people's understanding, and this might be for the secondary turrets, that when you get the secondary turret rate of fire reduction, um, you need a refit to get that. I don't know. It'd be really nice if that was understood. Um, let's think about it. It's crew training, partly. Maybe that could be still abstracted as something you need to come in and like retrain the crew. I don't know. But if it's just crew training, you could see that happen um, on the seas. Or, you know, they're given a new manual, they learn it. Who knows? Uh, so we're about to get into something. This will be the first month. I mean, we did the anti submarine warfare patrols. Trying to think, is there anything we're missing that we need to do? We're moving a lot of the Cunninghams in. Let's just see what happens after a month. Ah, Jared does gonna... Double gun mounts on DDs. <laughs> Probably not gonna use that. Unless we put a Benny 2 class. <laughs> oh, five, wow, nice no. Well, cruiser action. We do have actual cruisers. 75 means this probably is an actual cruiser, unfortunately. Ah, they declined the battle. Convoy defense, battle cruisers, except, okay. Um, they have a few destroyers which were damaged and entered a neutral port. Let's see how we're doing on like a point standpoint. We didn't blockade them despite our massive navy moving there, and that makes sense. They have double our points. We are doing okay on points here. They don't have a battle cruiser, that's why they declined, I guess. And we have actually a pretty substantial navy in the Caribbean. Three light cruisers is really all we have in the west coast. Looks like all of our destroyers went to Northeast Asia and Southeast Asia. Here we have 22 points to Germany's eight. That's not enough for an invasion. And here we have 32 to Germany's 1, which apparently is on rating because it has, it's worth 0 points, which means we, we are in, in that range where we could get a, an invasion in Southeast Asia. Now, I'm still, I've still, I still never witnessed a non-capital ship invasion, so maybe you could say the jury's still out on this. Um, I want to move some more light cruisers, something other than destroyers over to those areas. I'm not gonna spare the light cruisers that are defending the west coast because that's the only thing I have. Wow, actually our light cruisers are pretty well tied up. We have the ones in northeast, I mean, northern Europe, 
and then we actually don't even have any on the East Coast right now, but that's fine because we have our two battle cruisers. Two. Okay, yeah, this is a good distribution. I'm pretty happy with it. I kind of miss having our pre-war battleships now because it would be nice. It would be nice if we had the ability to put something into Southeast Asia, Northeast Asia, force some invasions. I mean, really, that's what these invader classes are for, but they're a ways out. And Oh, okay, the Grand Rapids. Okay, we are missing a light cruiser still. I was starting to think, like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> yeah. Now, do we have double turrets on light cruisers? I mean, it, it sounds absurd to ask. We do. So yeah, we're pretty much at the end game designed for light cruisers, except for we don't have quality one six inch guns, which is pretty sad. But this is otherwise great. Like we can make this either two or one, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, engagements will be happening more from range, so it's probably better to do two and 2.5 for this. Two, two, lots of twos. Not cramped. This is just for fun. Let's see what would what would happen. The gun um, won't change at all in size from quality, so we can approximate the ship like this. Don't think we're going to be using. We'll have eight. Oh, and one of these is wrong. We'll have eight uh, sided broadside. Interesting. Oh, we don't have double turrets research. I was wondering. I was like, do we have double turrets for light cruisers? We have them for destroyers. Talk about something which is a little bit illogical. I would say this is a little bit illogical. It doesn't make sense to have the ability to put double turrets on a destroyer, which is much, much lighter than a light cruiser. There probably should be a, um, uh, like, not a requirement, but a contingency. I don't know. There's a word I'm missing here, but the flow chart should go light cruiser double turrets to destroyer double turrets, not the other way around. And I mean, that's just makes sense. I don't think that many people would disagree with that. What we have is probably a fluke. So we do have, I would say, astoundingly bad technology for the United States in the early 1920s. I mean, for the games I've played as the U.S. before, usually you're an end game behemoth by even the late 1910s but um, well it's hasn't happened so far still that's amazing we actually didn't get any okay we'll we'll bring all the troops home northern Europe northern Europe everyone in northern Europe is coming home we, we tried, you know, we tried to get a fleet fight. And we'll move everyone back to the East Coast. And the people on the East Coast are going to have to move south, of course, to the Caribbean. Ah, well, except for the Jarrett. He got it at Jarrett. I don't know if you guys have that commercial. <laughs> it's a silly one anyway. Uh, he went to Jared, that's right. Maybe we should throw a few of these ships over to the south to Southeast Asia. And I'm thinking the Mount Rainier is the is the choice. So you are gonna make the long journey. First make it over to the west coast and then we'll redeploy you from there. So we'll just send one. The Wasp will be redeployed all the way to Southeast Asia, so that we have some kind of presence there, like capital ship presence. Right now it's uh bare bones. And you know what? I really want to build a Dreadnought next, but can, we are a little bit limited. What kind of 17-inch guns do we have? Minus one, yeah, that's that's not what I want to see. But we're, I mean, we're probably not losing money yet. No, I would say we're probably pretty far off from losing money. The yearly budget is, actually, it's over double our funds still. So we're in good shape there. We can save a lot more, but... But you know, every time, every you know, the delay is just means we're not going to get the next ship for that much longer. Uh, I'm kind of thinking about 
detouring from our current plan and just building another battle cruiser because I could justify 15 inch guns on that. I could. I, I mean, I think I could. Something like this. Let's give it. I would say let's give it actually still pretty good armor. We'll go with 11 and 4. Give it some good speed. Take this down to 11. 13. This might go down to 10. Uh, now you can see why. Okay, I, <laughs> Letherington pointed out to me that I talk about this every time. <laughs> but you can just see that this is why I don't use late game armor difference between 11 and 10 basically nothing the 15 inch guns are going to penetrate no matter what i just put it there as kind of a make sure we stop anything that isn't <laughs> uh, a big main gun volley so you know 12 inch guns are we stopping 12 inch guns mm, no not really <laughs> yeah maybe if we were 11 we'd stop 12 inch guns so this is actually the weird thing but We'll be toasting any ship that has 12-inch uh, guns anyway, or should. So I'm not going to worry about it. I am going to do an extra gun there. Even though they're not quality 1 yet. Damn it, anyhow. Ah, oh, man, 5-inch guns are quality 1, so we're going to go with those. We will. We're definitely going to do that. And submerged mounts, I don't... We can't add surface mounted. Okay, then... Okay, that's fine. We'll do that. 29, that is pretty fast. We can go back down to 28. How much did that save? Did that really save? That saved 1,100. We don't need it, though. I mean, 11, turret top should be 4.5. Secondaries are going to be down to 2. It's, oh, yeah. Well, that explains why I didn't bring that back up. There we go. There's the problem. <laughs> I don't expect this is going to be my end game ship, by the way end game battle cruiser let's try to keep it at 40,000 so what do we have to do to get 40,000 wow just take it down to 3.5 I'm a pretty big fan of this ship as is we're gonna have 12 15 um, inch guns quality one lower rate of fire unfortunately so the I mean in some sense Okay, 13,000. In some sense, the four, quality four, one 14 inch guns would be better. But yeah, this won't be the end game. The end game battle cruiser will probably have the. It, it, that just might be the behemoth, the 50 whatever, 52,000 behemoth. Um, we could even have two more dreadnought classes if I, if I do squeeze off the quality one 16 inch or 17 inch. You know, even quality 0 17-inch guns, I would take that. Anyway, let's see. Uh, so this is good. The turrets need to be, like, very heavy. <laughs> I might have to go... I need to make some other change. Okay, what about... Eh, that's not enough. Okay, we go down to 9, and we can do it. <laughs> I think it's worth it. We'll have the 20 left over. That'll be for advanced director. Because I won't want to bring this down any lower. And I think Advanced Director should fit within 20. It might not, which will be a real bummer, but let's hope it does. I can always uh, d d eliminate the torpedoes. I wouldn't want to do that, but okay. So we're looking at 151 million ship. What is the name of this one going to be? The Yosemite. And I, I just want to build a lot of these. I really want to build a lot of these so I can put them everywhere. I like everything about it. It looks pretty good. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and commit to this. It should be the Yosemite. Yeah, so the last one with the Mars one will be the ultimate, the ultimate battle beast. 
I still have like, this nagging feeling that something could be changed here. Okay, it's good enough. The turrets, I, I'm think, I'm looking at the turrets now. 13.5 should be good though. Okay, let's do it. So there it is, we're building her, finally. Get the Yosemite, an extra eight million. Now we'll build a few more. Yosemite. Yosemite. Get the, it's funny that the Lexington was the original class. Okay, let's build another. The St. Louis, don't we already have a St. Louis? I think it actually was scrapped. It might've been a, are we doing Saint spelled out or not? Saint, 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 huh? Saint. We don't have a Saint? Huh. Okay, well then let, let's, I'll set the precedent. We'll do Saint spelled out, because it's already done that way. Let's go with Providence next, the Freedom next. We're gonna get a few of these. And the freedom. And we'll do the Kiwana as well, because it fits with the Yosemite tag. And that's plenty, because we're about to get some amazing technology that basically, uh, yeah, I'll just leave this like that. I can save it as a different thing, just because I'm, I'm not sure. I wanna make sure I'm actually advancing uh, okay, so that's good. That's not even putting us so negative. We can still go 30 turns like this, which, I mean, that's as many as we'd need to build the Yosemite. So, but having this many ships under construction, we are seeing the steel shortages. So, ah, I need to take another drink and we'll advance another turn and hope that Southeast Asia, something happens. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can secure better terms than 400 victory points to 150. <laughs> oh, good. I thought this was a piece. I was like, what? Good. Torpedo protection four. That's good. So the dreadnoughts that come will be able to take a walloping both above and below the waves. Well, there's the superimposed B mounts on CLs, but the funny thing is... Well, first of all, that's extremely late, but I, I still don't think we have double turrets. Ah, Truxton. I want to see what kind of ship the Truxton was. Actually, this is interesting. We can see that they're in the west coast. The other one was in the Indian Ocean. Um, okay, so ship sunk the... What was it? She's a Benny. A Benny. Well, out of all the ships, that's, well, she's one of the older ones, so... I think in some way we lucked out there. Uh, I need to do that so I can see what time it is. Uh, how much time we've done. Okay, 18 minutes. Let's push on. Let's get something done. I mean, war-wise. We built something, which was great, but... Okay, there's the uh, Grand Rapids. I've actually memorized their name. They're ready. What are the Japanese building? Well... <laughs> They're a bit behind technologically, as we can see. Armor savings, of course, that would have been useful on our battle cruiser, now already under construction. Let's get the West Coast battle cruiser, I think it was the Wasp, to move to Southeast Asia. And as soon as we can, we want to throw our big fleet back in. Looks like we have one ship, the Palatka, which frankly can stay there. So we'll just send everyone but the Palatka back on out. And I'm still going to send the Great Lakes, even though the Grand Rapids would be great to send. Wait, no. Yeah, it's the Grand Rapids. They're all on the West Coast. Interesting. So that's where all my light cruisers are. Yeah, well, well, let's drive those. Okay, next turn. I mean, not next turn, right now, but as soon as I get this done, 
We need lots of destroyers. Oh, these are the, oh God. The wrong ships. Could probably get away with just this many. Let's take all of them since the New Havens are, well, the New Havens are staying behind. So let's try to force a fleet battle. I mean, look, we're, we're, we're going all the way over to their, their zone. <laughs> you can't blame it. We can't uh, say we aren't trying. Now let's get maybe four of these to move into Southeast Asia, Northeast Asia, and the rest should move into Southeast Asia. We might want to just consolidate, actually, Who's in Northeast Asia right now? We have some light cruisers already there, right? Yeah. So what I'll do instead is this. I want to move you into Northeast Asia. We'll, we'll wait. We'll wait a turn. Eventually, so next turn we'll actually do the swap because if these move out, the other ones won't get there for two turns anyway. Okay, let's see what happens. Caribbean. Huh. Coastal raid. Well, I hate Coastal raids. Usually it's a destroyer group or light cruisers. Let's see if we can get something else. Okay, Aurora intercepts. This is going to be interesting. I don't even know what the Aurora is. I think she's an older ship because it's probably not the Grand Rapids. It's a Galveston. Yeah, this is the, in fact, the worst class we ever built. Should be interesting. Okay. Squad max, which is pretty good, thankfully. It's actually a destroyer, which I don't think it is. The question is who can outrun who? Aha, we have her. And let's actually take a look. Four inch guns, I knew it. These were too small, so I knew. That's why I clicked back. I was like, oh, wow, well, we got to see what kind of guns we're up against. They do have uh, seven six inch guns, or four inch guns per side. It's a lot. That is gonna, wait, seven versus R. One, two, three, four, five, six. Versus R6. That's, <laughs> yeah, we're at an advantage. And strongly an advantage in terms of armor as well. So basically in every way conceivable, we, we should be the victor. Except for we won't have the wind advantage. It's the one downside, I guess. We are firing at each other fiercely. Okay, we're hitting her. Hitting her a lot. I think it's already looking good for us. She's slowing. Come on, Aurora. Wow. Got the uh, it was uh, it was going our way anyway, but it did speed things up greatly that she had a magazine detonation. We'll try to hold off one more month in Europe and then we'll call her fleet back again. But maybe what I should do, maybe I'm doing this all wrong. I want the fleet battle, but maybe what I should do instead is move a lot of my fleet over to Southeast Asia to really force the invasion. This is like a completely new point of view, but I'm like really getting the idea that this is what I should do. So much so that I am going to move these over to the West Coast, and we're going to do it. We're going to do it. So we're only going to have, yeah, and these are the highest points, the dreadnoughts. So they, they will have the biggest strategic effect. Now, we had this situation where some Grand Rapids were going to stay. We're not going to do that. We're going to keep all our ships, like ships, together. So we'll go to Southeast Asia here. And the ones that are in Southeast Asia will move to Northeast Asia. And that should be, that should be really good. Let's see what kind of points we're looking at even right now. Basically, we just should keep track of the German fleet anyway. They have a battle cruiser there. So now they, they have enough points. If we get a dreadnought there, I think we'll be in good shape. Actually, we have 64 points to nothing, but yeah. The random events haven't favored us in terms of invasions quite yet. Um, they have two light cruisers. We're not too worried. They have one light cruiser. Okay, fine. So we'll probably end up doing some kind of raiding thing in Northern Europe then. Yeah, we'll probably do battle cruisers, get them to raid. They might be interned. It's pretty dangerous. I really ought to take territory. Like, okay, East Prussia is probably, yeah, value 12. 
We can only take it if we invade, but it'd be really nice if we could take Ireland, for example, so we have some kind of base there. Just enough to support some raiding ships is all I need. Although probably we'd be invaded almost right away. Oh my gosh, this is it, the big 64. Just in case you're curious about ship names, I did receive uh, nearly 200 names. So we have not built 200 ships. I think we built close to, well, discounting destroyers at least, we built probably, hmm, we probably built close to 60 or 80. So we're not even, uh, well, we're pretty far off. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Battle cruiser, battle cruiser. Damn it. Close. The Great Lakes. But the Great Lakes is still a great ship. We should really get the uh, Grand Rapids in here. Because this is uh, more of a fleet ship than anything else. And this is where, again, I would really like for Rule of Waves 2 to allow you to keep certain fleets together. I am a little worried that we're going to have a battle cruiser here. I think we don't. They're retreating, and they're likely going to be retreating back to a battle cruiser. So I'm going to take a high line. Knowing that with speed of 29, we will be able to outrun the battle cruiser when she comes. Hopefully, the pause takes effect as soon as that happens. Oh, these are some speedy ships. I think they're actually getting away. Well, they're going to get to port, so they're about as fast as I am. Oh, there it is. Well, no. Let's wait one more turn. Yeah, it was just the destroyers. <laughs> Glad I waited. They're going to take us into mine-infested waters. Now, we're following their path, so we can't hit a mine, but... And we're getting all the destroyers out. Well, we actually might be able to beat them back to port. Not really. We're going to go for it. Oh, 30 knots. Okay, these things do fly. Well, let's see what happens. This is pretty interesting. Ah, well, they're probably just going to make for port successfully. And we'll have to turn around. Okay, this is interesting. <sighs> Got so close. Okay, let's pull off. And just saunter on out of here. <laughs> Zero points. We, I guess nobody landed anything. That was not too exciting. And I think that that means it's time for us to get out of here. So we'll just uh, enact this secondary plan, which is basically put a lot of pressure on Southeast Asia. And my god, it just looks like we are already. <laughs> That's right, the Grand Rapids are all on the west coast, so. Anyone in Northern Europe, please come home. That should be all of them. We'll find out in a, in a month. Did we leave anybody, anybody behind? <laughs> okay, so we have two here and three here. Let's get all the pressure into Southeast Asia. And our battle cruiser should be there now. The Wasp, she is. Uh, maybe we should start raiding with some of our ships. I think it's 66 to one, that is a gigantic point discrepancy. Even 30 to 5 is possibility lends itself to an invasion. Boy, here we go again. 
Mm. Well, good thing we got out of, uh, <laughs> good thing we got out of Europe. Okay, we'll build one more. I don't want, do I want two saints? Yeah, okay, we'll do it. Two saints. Excellent, we'll take the offer. St. Joseph. Only the Navy can win this war. I'm not actually sure if that's true, but I've had no good results with the last one, which definitely does take budget away. I mean, it's just such a crapshoot. Okay, above water tubes on all ships, that's fine. I'm not really, I'm probably not gonna use that for dreadnoughts, but it's something. And maybe we should start raiding. Okay, enemy close to raid. I will accept this because the only ships we have are battle cruisers, and you know what? I am very willing to face enemy ships if they are battle cruisers. I mean, if I have battle cruisers, I should say. So where are our ships? We want to put this stuff on, and then we want to click this. Okay, so that's here. Did they? Do it so you can no longer see where their ships are. Maybe. All right, well, we'll just patrol around. Where do we expect that they're coming? We have a submarine that way. Well, they'll probably come from this area. I'm going to actually increase my speed so that we're going along at a fairly decent clip right away because I want to be able to catch them if they ever, if they do come in. Oh, okay, we spotted them. Squad Max. What's our actual speed? I do want to keep taps on this. 22. Okay, let's crank it up. Their course was east-southeast, we're perfect. We're basically on an intercept, I'm not sure if it's, it's gonna be close, but I'm gonna, even if it's light cruisers or destroyers, God, that is some visibility. Thank you, game. Um, middle night, so, geez, it's just not good. Okay, it's better. Now it's overcast. I paused it. That was not us spotting forces. Okay, let's just keep a lookout. There's two ships. The target, if I was the AI. And that is a real one or not? It is. This is our Kingfisher class, which I'm, I'm pretty happy to have along. It can uh, take a little bit of punishment. I mean, it's so light that it won't take much punishment, but... I want to keep it at very fast because... It'll slow me down to fast as an indication that somebody is closing with somebody. And this is why I don't like these... Oh! Oh! Uh. Ah, uh, I hit space twice. It was an accident. Um, we're about to get torpedoed, so... I don't know what these are, but... We have probably blown the living crap out of them, whatever they were. Let me actually take a second to evaluate what happened there. Now, you can report false hits, especially at night. What it looks like happened is critical hit fire control damage. That's not good. So Bennett Country, uh, sorry, Bennett County is going to be, they're not penetrating even from this distance, which may say destroyers, even though we're reporting light cruisers. Light guns. It probably is a destroyer. We made a good turn uh, about face. And hitting th that one is just brutal. I think, oh god, it, it's over. There were two destroyers. <laughs> Come on. Come on, game. Don't send two battle cruisers against two destroyers. Okay, fine. You can, and look, we won, and, you know, I'm not going to say don't give me a victory, but it, it's just, uh, from a game standpoint, you just don't really want to fight destroyers as a battle cruiser, or vice versa. Now, they, it, you stand to lose everything when you're the bigger ship like that, Battlecruiser versus Destroyer, especially this is the worst conditions. Now, I'm pretty sure that these Mount Rainiers have some torpedo protection. They don't. So, yeah, that could have been crippling. Now, we're right next to port. That's the good thing with the Coastal Raid is that you can probably limp to port. 
But geez, like, huh. Okay, so you guys need to move all the way to Southeast Asia. Hopefully we can get the invasions going on. Um, and these destroyers are actually finishing. And you guys know what that means. It is time for these, this enormous swath, 55. That is not all of them, is it? So some are going to come out in another month. We'll give them a little bit of time to work up. I mean, they're not needed to work up. <laughs> we just need them to sit there and look pretty and invade, but... Okay, we got the last... Should be nine. Champion under construction. Ah. Small engagement. We'll accept. They didn't... Uh, they weren't able to muster. Well, you know what? We're going to have to call this episode to a close here anyway. Um, it's been, you know... A little bit over 35 minutes so so we'll keep pushing we'll try to get southeast asia we'll maybe make another sortie into uh, northern europe again i mean i i'm trying to get the the big battle and of course we, sh we should be monitoring the fleet movements a little bit more closely even this is three okay three that's barely three to one i mean barely not three to one and this is hugely three to one <laughs> would love to get a fight there. Battle cruiser versus armor cruiser. That's that's the best thing. That's absolutely my favorite thing. Um, Germany has not too much there. Yeah. Well, anyways, yeah. We'll uh, we'll just keep keep plugging away at the the victory plan, which is hopefully invasion. We'll see if those invaders can can get something done. But until then, until the next episode, thanks for watching, and take care.